<laughs> so, uh, Louise, you sexy songbird, you... <laughs> I've heard that uh, you fancy aliens. Oh, yeah. Oh. But if your brother Sig found out, I'd faint huh? with embarrassment. I'm very shy. You did say... You fancy Zeke? <sighs> fancy him? Not half. God, huh? Come on, showtime. But he's a big wet blanket. Hi, <laughs> Zeke! <laughs> oh, 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 hi! <laughs> Tell you what, <laughs> Louise is looking rather, um, rather nice today, isn't she? <laughs> for, 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 for a girl, I mean. Oh, you like Louise, do you? Huh? Huh? No, no, you wouldn't catch me going all pukey over some daft girl and writing love poems to her and stuff. Well, that, that's just as well, see, because uh, Louise doesn't fancy you. She doesn't like you, actually. Hey, she hates you, in fact, she said. That's she what she said. Hates me? Hmm. Why? Well, you smell a sprout and you walk funny. <laughs> Come on, show time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Zig and Zag Show. The word of the week is weak. Listen out for it. Yes, <laughs> indeed. Hello, you bunch of wart lickers. to the show, everyone. Yes, and welcome our guest, super mega babe saucy songstress, Louise! Yeah! Hi, Sig. Hi, 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 Louise. How are you? I'm fine. Sig, Sig, Sig. See the way she uh, kissed me? Did yeah, it? I saw. Yeah. See how she didn't kiss you, Zeke? Yeah, I saw, I saw. Yeah. She must uh, really, really hate you, Zeke. Yeah, I know. Just leave it, OK? Yeah, a girl like that isn't going to go for sprouts and funny walks, you know. You do understand that. Having a chance, Zeke. Yeah. Having a chance. Oh. What are you two whispering about? Oh, nothing, Louise, nothing. Um, okay. actually, um, he just said to me there that uh, he thinks you're a bit of a boot. I thought he might have liked me. No, no, no. I'd, I'd, I'd leave it if I were you, Louise. Put a sock on it, you lot. Excuse me. Yeah! Hey, it's work experience, celebrity Brett Cousins. Hi, Brett. Hi, hi. Well, um, what's the problem, Brett? We've a show to do. I, I'm a bit confused. Elbows, elbows, thank you. <laughs> See, I'm the new, I'm new. I'm the, I'm the work experience lad. Yeah. And, and I just, I don't know what I should be doing. Oh, just, um, cleaning the toilet and stuff. Sweeping up. Yeah. You know, just general wiping General around wiping, things, yeah. yeah. Right, right. It's just that, well, the agency said that you go through heaps of work experience, oh, people. Oh, here. I mean, what happens to it? Nothing bad, I hope. Oh, but, um, um, bad? No, um, uh, well, let's <laughs> just say they, they go to a better place. Yeah. What, Middlesbrough? Um, <laughs> yeah, 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 yes. Yeah, right. yeah, go on, of, get lost. Go on, do on, some do work. Go on, do some work. Go on. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Is a boy who can identify any flavour crisp simply by tasting it. Not only that, he can do it blindfolded. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, he simply tastes the crisps. It's unbelievable. Give it up for the amazing crisp boy! Yeah. Yeah. Wow! Cool, yeah! Okay, now. Before you begin, Chris Boy, can yeah. I offer you a, maybe a refreshment of some sort, like an espresso, perhaps, a oh. cordon bleu meal, a black forest gâteau made from the mm. finest delicately whipped cream, hand-picked Austrian cherries and exquisite Belgian chocolate? Ooh. Nah, a piece of chewy would be nice. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 you see, uh, I hold it yesterday, I baked Zeke. a cake. Zeke. And you put a Zeke. piece of cream and chewy? Get him, all that work. Okay. Get him what he right, wants. Well, I'll right, a piece of chewy you'll have, then. So, Chris Boy, how long have you had the uncanny ability to tell a flavour of a crisp simply by tasting it? Hmm. Oh, for as long as I can remember. Ah. Okay. Since yesterday. Oh. <laughs> Amazing, huh? Um... Oi, Chris Boy! A flippin' piece of chewy! <laughs> Zig, Z Z go! Will you let it go, please? Okay, Toby, if you could um, blindfold Chris Boy so he can demonstrate his supernatural powers. Cool. Hello, Chris Boy. All right, here we go. 
Okay. Chris Boya, please taste the first flavor. Ooh. 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 What do he makes of that? Hmm? Ooh, pop chow. Toby, oh, pop reveal the flavor. Ooh. It's no. right. It's yeah! 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 Okay, I think we should um, reveal the flavour of crisp number two. Oh, yeah. Right. Hey, Zeke. Yeah, okay, come on. Salt and vinegar. Okay, Toby. It's salt and vinegar. Yeah! Yeah! Stupid blooming Michelin. Um, come on. Zeke. My coffee. Zeke, I think we'd better have a little talk about Louise. It's okay. She doesn't like me. Uh. Sag love is a painful biscuit that I really don't want in my barrel right now. Oh, Sig, you're just being brave. <laughs> That's it, bruv. <laughs> you let it out. Never bottle up sad emotions. Oh, Sag, oh, it's killing me. Yeah. She's only a woman, Sig. Life goes on. Uh, Sag, my boat. Uh, it will, Sig. <laughs> Think of the man who fell in love with a mermaid. She laughed, him, but he wasn't sad, for he knew there were plenty more fish in the sea. Sag! That was so brave. I especially love brave aliens. Oh. Come on, showtime. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, <laughs> Do you hear that, bruv? Uh, I've impressed her. Perhaps now she'll fancy me instead of you. Yeah, great. What? Um, um nothing? Yeah. Nothing. Come on, showtime. Oh, blimey. I see. A round of applause for the fabulous Chris Boy. Yeah. Zig, um, perhaps you, you'd like to wrap up part one. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, I'll do it, I'll do it. Please join us after the break for more fun and frolics, plus music from Fabulous Ultra. Oh. Stay tuned. Yeah! <laughs> uh, Louise, uh, Louise we're, yeah. we're in the commercial break. Could you just pop down to make up with me? Uh, we'll okay. pick up a bit of five o'clock shadows. Oh, really? Oh, OK. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'll do, and then I'll do this. Ziggy uh, yeah, poo poo! Then, I I'll remember I used that. to call you that, Zig. <gasps> ah, Zig, you, you're not still miffed at me, are you? <laughs> I brought you a present. Look, it's absolutely everything I own. Yeah, well, it's not enough. Oh. oh. Quite like the lady's bra, though. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, but what you've done is the most horrible thing ever. Oh, uh, I'm really sorry for trying to keep you and Louise apart, bro. <laughs> but I did it for you. No, you didn't. Okay, I did it for me, but I'm sorry I upset you. Upset? <laughs> me? <laughs> Don't be stupid. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's over between the sack. I'm divorcing you as my brother. <laughs> oh, flip! <laughs> Take these rags to the crusher and don't bother checking them first. <laughs> Coming to us in three, two, one, and action! Yeah! Welcome back to the Zig and Zag Show! <laughs> Welcome back, everyone! Hey, you two! Last night I had a burger with nothing on. What? You mean you didn't have, like, cheese or ketchup or anything? Didn't have pickle or lettuce? No, I mean I was naked. <laughs> in fact, now that we're all here, I have a confession to make. My name is Zag, and I'm a nudie. I'd like to confess something. Hey? I'm madly in love with Zig. Yeah! What? <laughs> Louise, Louise! Louise, Louise, Louise! It's no good, Louise. He hasn't a clue about the ladies. It's pointless. For once in your life, Zag, would you shut up? Louise! What? I love you too! Yeah! Oh, happy day! You know, there's only one thing that could really top this moment for me. A cup of tea with Father Ted star Pauline McGlynn! Zig, don't try and gild the lily. Don't try and have your cake and eat it. Huh? Don't try and burp and pump at the same time. No one gets that lucky! I do! Give it up for Pauline McGlynn! Hi, Pauline. Hello, Louise. Hi. 
Can I just say before we start, congratulations on your newfound love. Oh, uh, thanks, thanks Paulie. Yeah. Hey, Paulie, there's, there's something I've always wanted to ask you. Yeah. <clears throat> would you like a cup of tea? Oh, gee. <laughs> would I? Do you know I would? I'd love a cup of tea, actually. No, 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 no. no. Go on, go on, go on, no, go on. No, I, I'd love one. You will, you will, you will. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Yeah. Yeah. I said, yes, I'd love a cup of tea. Yeah. Go on, go on, go on, go Is on, go on, go on. I'm sorry, I do apologise. Go on, go on, you will, you will, you will. This is very annoying, isn't it? Oh. I said, yeah. Uh, yes, Zig. That's what she said. Now go into the basement where we keep the tea and the monster you're so terrified of and make Pauline a leafy brew. Oh, I didn't. I, I go on, Zig. Huh? Face the monster. Uh, you know how much bravery impresses me. Yeah, so it does. Right, well, um, I'll be off then. Go on. Oh, Mummy. <laughs> anyway, Pauline, it's great to have you on the show. It's lovely to be here. Now, there. will you be all right down there? Oh, uh, well, yeah, don't mind, Zig, oh. you'll be fine. Anyway, Pauline, we know you best as Mrs. Doyle, the bonkers tea lady from the ladies' <laughs> father, Ted. <laughs> now, who would you, never mind, who would you most like to make a cup of tea for? Oh, well, after you've made tea for Father Ted and Father Dougal and Father Jack, mm. it doesn't get much better than it that. It doesn't. Get off, get off me! Oh. <laughs> About him Don't now. worry, he's fine. Okay. Uh, well, I think I'd like to make. Um, well, I'm very fond of Boy Zone and OTT. So oh, anyone from there, and I'd like to have a lovely, nice. good-looking boys, and they're very nice. You know? They are. What's the worst job you've ever had? Oh, I think the worst job was washing Father Jack's underpants. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Horrible. There were flies buzzing around them, and all sorts of things yeah. on them. Yeah. That's the very worst. Get oh. off! I just want a teapot. Oh. You're a big fan of our show. I am, I am. Zach. But you know, actually, I have to tell you what my favourite moment is. What, what? It's Word of the Week. <laughs> oh, original Zach, I'm up and on the MIC. Come follow me, come follow me, come, come, come follow me. With me wicked, yes, man, I'm a alien style. Come follow me, come follow me, come, come, come follow me. Song from Ultra, Rescue Me. Yeah. I realize that it's hard to be a part. You discovered it. Okay, okay, you've got to laugh. But I swear to you, if you could, if you could ever forgive me, I promise hardly ever to do that again. Well, Sig, I can't stay angry at you. Give me a hug. What? A hug? Blooming way! No, blooming way! Heaven knows what blooming germs you girls have! <laughs> <laughs> Next thing you want to hold hands and <laughs> kissing. Then we'll be off to the blooming baby shop to put a deposit down on a smelly baby. Oh, just never hands! <laughs> My name is Zig. You see... Girls get the wrong idea about me. You start getting friendly with a girl, and then it wants you to get married and stuff. Now, you be all right, girl, with your dough eyed beauty and your chirpy singing. Me, I'm a furry bloke, but I'm in good shape. So watch it, right? I only said blow the blooming doors off, and not a lot of people know that. Don't throw blooming spears at me. If I told you once, I told you twice. 